These are visuals from Jyotpur. We are talking about the light combat helicopter induction ceremony that's continuing. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh on board uh, that entire helicopter there. We are seeing these uh, visuals from Jodhpur. My colleague Akash also is joining us back on the broadcast. Akash, uh, the ceremony continues uh, despite the fact that we had to divert our attention because of this entire uh, international flight scare that we were on. This is a historic day for the Indian Air Force. Uh, nothing really sways away from what uh, we see today. Exactly. And, you know, Griha, uh, while it is about the Atmanirbhar Bharat, this is the perfect example of Atmanirbhar Bharat because light combat helicopter is India's own and indigenously developed helicopter. And, you know, it has a, a variety of features. And, you know, while we talk about the attack helicopter, so uh, the service ceiling of this helicopter is the maximum of all attack helicopters. In fact, you know, this was the very point that I was raising just a few minutes back. But as of now, we have the formal induction day where uh, the Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh has, uh, you know, uh, taken part in this particular ceremony. In fact, you know, CDS Anil Chauhan was also there. General Anil Chauhan was also there. Air Chief Marshal was there. Several dignitaries were there. Also, we have been given to understand that Prachand is the name that is given to uh, to this uh, particular light combat helicopter. After Pages, we have Prachand. Hmm. in the fleet of Indian Air Force. And, you know, uh, talking about the features of this particular aircraft. So it has, you know, armored protection system, night attack capabilities it has. And also it has crash-worthy, uh, it is with the crash-worthy landing gears. So you can use it for search and rescue operations. You can use it for destruction of Indian, uh, uh, you know, enemy air defense uh, operations and also for counterinsurgency operations. So uh, this aircraft, this uh, particular helicopter, I'm so sorry, this particular helicopter can, you know, fly up to 6,500 meters and with a speed of 330 kilometers per hour. This is what the features are. And as of now, while we are getting these 10 hel uh, helicopters in the Indian Air Force, the first squadron is being raised at Jodhpur where we are seeing these visuals. Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh and all other dignitaries are there. And uh, clearly, you know, this is uh, going to give a major boost because, uh, you know, in the March itself, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi led uh, a cabinet committee for security approved uh, the procurement. And, uh, you know, as of now, uh, we are getting the total 15 units from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, out of which 10 will be used by Indian Air Force and five will be used by Indian Army. Prachand is the name. And finally, Prachand is a part of Indian Air Force today. Absolutely, Akash. And you mentioned how this is designed for high altitude areas. Of course, this is going to be a big boost for the country, especially along the China border. Exactly. And, you know, if I need to mention this, because the prototypes of this particular helicopter. So, you know, the need of these types of helicopters came in, in 1999 at the time of Kargil War. Hmm. And in 2006, finally, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited got this note that, that, OK, they are going to, you know, design and develop such helicopters. And it took a long time from straight from 2006 to uh, 2022. But last year, the you know, two prototypes were very much deployed at uh, the actual line of control. Control. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, at this point in time, this is the only attack helicopter that has landed in Siachen. And that's the reason why they are, uh, they are saying that it has the maximum ceiling of all attack helicopters. It can go up to 6,500 feet. And, you know, this is also the reason why uh, they call that this is the perfect example for Atmanirbhar Bharat. And so the, today is a historic day, Griha, because now we have the first squadron at Jodhpur. And, you know, not only for China, it is also important for the Ind India-Pakistan Pakistan, border because yes. we know the kind of tension that we generally face at the border. Mm. And Jodhpur uh, Air Force st uh, Station is strategically very, very important uh, while it is about the western borders. So as of now, the first uh, squadron is going to be raised at Jodhpur and after that, that the, uh, the the other squadrons will follow. Absolutely. And Agash, we all know that India is one of the top 10, uh, you know, uh, defense spenders when it comes to in the world. In fact, the third last year is only after US and China. We also hear that there are more such in the pipeline for the country. Exactly. And, you know, Greha, this is this is coming at a time when we are uh, all set to phase out the MiG-21 series by 2025. At a mm. time when, you know, we are uh, phasing out our uh, old, uh, uh, you know, fighter planes. So 
LCH is going to be a part of uh, Indian Air Force. And, you know, in fact, I, I, I had a word with some of the experts and some of the officers from Indian Air Force. They are not only uh, getting inducted this uh, base model, but they are also looking for future upgrades because they say that art is, artificial intelligence is somewhere is the future. And also in terms of, uh, you know, security and, uh, you know, getting your broad borders area and getting, getting your land protected, you need uh, advanced features. And, you know, talking about light combat helicopter, so we, we have been given to understand that that this helicopter provides the every information on the helmet of pilot itself. So it is somewhere not only the indigenously developed helicopter, but it is also an advanced helicopter. Present is the name, and as of now, we are getting 10 units of the same helicopter. And, you know, in the next 10 years, we'll be getting some more units. And there you have the Defence Minister, in fact, all set to take flight in the light combat helicopter, newly inducted into the Indian Air Force. There's going to be a ratio in which it is going to be divided between the IAF and the Indian Army. We are told that possibly 10 helicopters would be part of the Indian Air Force, five for the Indian Army at the moment. There are more to come in. We are seeing those glorious visuals, Akash, as uh, the Raksha Mantri, all set to take that maiden flight in the light combat helicopter. See where it was. Uh, the, it was a, a pre-plan that the Raksha Mantri will be taking a flight in it. And you know, in fact, I need to mention this very point that at, at this point in time we are getting ten units, but uh, the army has a plan to acqu acquire ninety-five light, light combat helicopters, okay. largely for a combat role in mountain. Because you know, as I mentioned earlier, the first need was felt in nineteen ninety-nine. Back in nineteen ninety-nine, when you know we had to, uh, we were dealing with a kind of combat conditions where you know there were large mountains, and at that time, you know, Indian. Air Force officer somewhere felt the need of a helicopter that can go, uh, you know, up to that level and that can have the maximum ceiling and that's the reason why in 2006, uh, finally, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited uh, started designing and developing this particular helicopter. Also, you know, Prachand is the name and, you know, Prachand is a Hindi word that hmm. means the, uh, that shows somewhere the aggression, hmm. that shows somewhere the speed. After Tejas, we know about the light combat aircraft Tejas. In fact, you know, just a few days back, we were reporting about Tejas. But now this this particular helicopter, which is named Prachand, is going to be, uh, you know, going to be a game changer. This is what they say. And at this point in time, Army is also looking for, you know, 95 more light combat helicopters. In fact, Indian Air Force is looking for the upgraded version, in fact. So as of now, after March, this is the big development in the month of October, where today is a historic day and we are going to get the first batch of this light combat heli helicopter. In fact, we have got the first batch of light combat helicopter. And, uh, you, know, you know, in fact, we are seeing these visuals where Rakshamanti Rajnath Singh is taking a flight in it. And also, you know, it is a multi-role helicopter. It is a multi-role helicopter. It can be used for various operations and not only for for the uh, for the air to air combat but it can you know it is also uh, it is uh, capable of uh, uh, you know uh, stopping any any sort of drone attack it can uh, it can stop any uh, slow moving aircraft so it has a variety of features and you know it can be used for multiple roles and that's the reason why they are saying it it is a game changer and as of now we are seeing these visuals where Rakshamanti Rajnath Singh is taking a flight in it. Oh, absolutely. And Prachand is what it is going to be called. And like uh, Akash, you were 